I don't have a problem. You've got a problem. Why don't you have this many slow pokes and beast balls? I don't, I don't care. Stop calling me weird because I'm shiny hunting day one. Hey everyone, I'm Marcos and I'm Moxie Boosted, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2020 Master Ball Ranked Session. I, I'm happy to say Master Ball Ranked because we haven't been in Master Ball tier until this session and the end of the last session. For those of you who don't know, for the entirety of Season 1, I was unable to play because of some weird thing where I was like literally unable to find matches for the entirety of the season. I got maybe 10 games after like searching every day for like 30 days but i was able to play the season and because i wasn't able to find games last season i had to start all the way from beginner tier well i used that glispot team and it carried me all the way up to master ball tier so we're finally here doing that we're finally laddering in master ball tier and the team that carried me the entire time was the glissopod team and i wouldn't say it carried me i'd say it's a little bit more of a difficult team to pilot um but I am happy that I used Glisspot to get here. So here's the team. There is a QR code. I will link it in the description, or I'll put a I'll put it in the description. I don't know why I said link it. There's no link to the QR code or to the QR team. Also, it's not a QR team. That's what we used to call it in 3DS days. But now we're on Switch. It's a regular rental team. So yeah, if you guys enjoy this, you should leave a like, subscribe for Pokemon content, and answer my comment question of the day, which is. What do you think is the best ability this season? I know that abilities tend to be a little bit subjective. Mold Breaker could be seen as the best ability because it allows Excadrill to hit uh, the Rotom forms as well as other Levitate Pokemon. And maybe Serene Grace is the best ability. But overall, like, which ability do you think comes in handy the most? Like, I, I personally believe that it's Corviknight's ability. Mirror Armor saves it so much. If we could drop that thing's defense, it would be so lame. But because you can't, and because it reflects it back, it's an amazing Pokemon this session or this season. But yeah. Also, I know we had that audio glitch last session. Uh, my bad. It turns out that I just didn't have my capture card turned up enough. But I think I fixed it now. My capture card is turned up, so you should hear the in-game audio as well as my voice. Uh, and the reason you could only hear it when I was speaking uh, was because it would come through my microphone when I spoke because I have a noise filter. And this is hard trick room, but it's indeedy. It's in DD and uh, Dust Clops, which is a little bit, a little bit threatening to me. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go with the playbook, the playbook method. What I told you guys to lead when you see this, it's going to be uh, Excadrill to fish for flinches while Arcanine roars out the Trick Room Setter. Uh, in the back, I feel very comfortable bringing Rotom. However, I am kind of scared of that Torkoal. Torkoal could give me a couple of issues. Um, I'd say my last Pokemon, I, I want to bring Glisspot, I really do, I really, really do. However, I feel like with the Ndidi being a very strong pick for my opponent, I really shouldn't bring it. Um, I'm tempted to bring Arcanine, because it's able to switch in on hits from uh, a few Pokemon here. The Torkoal in particular is what I'm looking at. But, and we can intimidate their one physical attacker, but... I feel like I want to go Dragapult. Dragapult, I know, isn't something that I mentioned on the Trick Room matchup, but I, I can't help but feel like it's going to come in handy here. Also, uh, ignore the fact that my shirt does not match my, my flannel. I just kind of put it on because I was cold. The temperature in my apartment, one of you guys noticed, like one day I was recording with like full Eskimo gear on, and then the next day I was recording with a tank top on. The, the temperature in this apartment is subject to change. It's a little bit wacky. Uh, we're probably going to see Fake Out Gothitelle, possibly. Possibly Fake Out Gothitelle, so I am going to fish for this turn 1 flinch, as they're going to most likely Fake Out my Arcanine. This is still my best play, though. There's the Choice Scarf Frisk. Oh, not Dynamax. I want a Rock Slide here. And I'm going to Roar. Roar out what I assume is going to be Trick Room Dust Clops, but we could possibly see... Uh, nope, there's the Fake Out. Give me this flinch. I have I have yet to flinch a dust clops this season. Oh no, there's the trick room. Okay, guys, it's over. It's over. Session over. We are done. We've lost. Game over, man. Uh, I can't switch out. However, I doubt that they'll want to stay in with their Gothitel. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to go ahead and start setting up my physical defense to help me take on that uh, that inevitable right here that's going to want to come in. So I'm going to max Steel Spike into that boy. And I'm also going to go for a Will-O-Wisp into him as well. 
I'm not too concerned about Gothitelle. I know Gothitelle can put out a lot of damage on the special offensive side, but I'd like to imagine this is a bit of a bulkier set. And yes, okay, I did make the read correctly. Um, the reason I wanted to Will-O-Wisp into that bad boy is because I figured if they were going to switch out anything, it wouldn't be their Trapper. I was in the middle of, like, I was I was about to say that, and then I, just, I lost my train of thought. Um, and I started talking about why I wanted to uh, boost my physical defense, but... We are going to proc its weakness policy, however, at plus one defense, I should be able to take it on pretty o pretty okay. Hopefully I land this Will-O-Wisp, that's going to be huge. There's the Hypnosis, it landed the Hypnosis. This thing landed its Hypnosis. I better land my Will-O-Wisp. If, if they land a Hypnosis and I don't land my Will-O-Wisp, I'm going to be salty. Alright, there we go. Luckily, no weakness policy yet. <coughs> Excuse me. Luckily, no weakness policy yet. However, I cannot switch. I am in trouble. I am scared. I want to go home. My best play is undoubtedly to protect my Arcanine and go for a Max Steel Spike into this Gothitelle. Hopefully, I'll get the turn one. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll get the turn one wake up. That'd be amazing for me. I feel like the game is a little loud, so I'm going to turn it down just a bit. Just a bit, but I don't want it to turn it down so much that like you guys can't hear the game. Just like last time, so let's hope that... I'm, I don't know. Whenever I record, I feel like I don't have the audio correct. Alright, there's the Dynamax. I don't think they can knock me out in one hit. I'm kind of hoping they target this Arcanine, seeing the Excadrill as like a non-issue at the moment. Because it is, you know, hypnotized. It is, you know, a big sleepy boy, but... I, I don't know. I, I am very, I'm very threatened by that Rhyperior now. Even at minus two, even at minus two, it's still a very threatening Pokemon. There's the Max Quake, most likely into my Excadrill. Yep. Can I wake up? Because if I wake up, I should be able to take one more Max Quake and not be in the worst position. Please wake up, Excadrill. Come on, come on, bud. Come on, bud. Low sweep. Oh, oh no! I didn't know it got that. I didn't know it got that. I'm scared. Now it's at a... Now it's actually at a pretty respectable attack stat. And Excadrill remains asleep. Dang it. Okay. Alright. Full disclosure here. I don't feel like recording another session today. So if I lose every single battle today, that's the raw me. You guys are seeing me lose. That's how I play this game. I'm not that great at this game. You guys are just seeing how it is. I'll go for the Roar and the Gothitelle. Possibly allowing me to make a defensive switch later on. Possibly. There goes my Dynamax, unfortunately. Um, I did bring my Rotom, though. I did bring my Rotom, so I can go for a Protect this next turn. He might go for a Hypnosis, too, which would be so annoying. It'd be so, so annoying. Alright, good. They missed. They missed. Get out of here with that. Get out of here. I know the fake out pressure could be annoying later on, but I'd rather not deal with it. Duskull or Dusclops, I'd rather deal with you, to be honest. There's my Figgy Berry. Bringing my Rotom here. More than anything, I want to scare. I want to be able to roar out this uh, this Rhyperior. So, how many turns of Trick Room are left? One turn of Trick Room. I can just double protect here. Probably be fine. Um, I can actually probably... Nah. nah. I should definitely protect. Yep. I, I want to go for the Thunder Wave play. But I know it's much better for me if I get a Will-O-Wisp later on. Because I don't have too many ways of dealing with uh, Duskull. Dusclops. I always call it Duskull. Dusclops if my Dragapult goes down. Dragapult's looking so much better now that um, we don't have to play around Trick Room Rhyperior for a couple of turns. And even if the Rhyperior decides to protect this next turn, I'm not in a bad spot. Gravity. He's trying to hit me with a Max Quake. Max Flutterby. Okay, interesting choice. Uh, so he's got Megahorn. That is something to keep in mind. It's 
It's gonna take a bit more burn damage. Uh, I feel safe switch. I feel safe roaring out this this right here right now. Um, I'd rather have it minus two than anything. <laughs> I can bring in my Dragapult. I don't think that I'm too threatened by um, Rhyperior or by this Dusclops. Dusclops tends to not carry any ghost move except for, um, what's it called? Except for Nightshade, which isn't super effective. It just does static damage. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. No. I'd rather... I would much rather deal with the... Uh, <laughs> deal with the Rhyperior. Give me the Rhyperior again. Gothitelle? That's alright. That's fine. Whatever. It's probably got will o -Wisp. We've seen Trick Room. Um, actually, I think we've only seen Trick Room. Go for the Phantom Force, and I will go for the Will-O-Wisp. I want to get some chip damage on that thing. This might be a timer game, to be honest. This might come down to timer. I don't really mind taking the fake-out damage if he does go for it, but I would prefer to get a burn, if anything. Like, Flare Blitz would do a ton, but I get more from a burn. That's fine. There's the Haze. Interesting. I Did he expect a Dragon Dance? I'm not sure what he was going for there, but we did see another move. I guess my... my uh, that would make sense. I have... Um, Wait no, did I get a max move off? I honestly don't remember if I got a max move off with my um with my Exedrill. That would justify him going for that play. How many turns of trick room? Four? Three, okay. I'm actually just gonna protect here. Or Nah, I'd rather switch and Rotom here. He's not too threatened by um He's not he's not too threatened by this by this right here. On top of that, uh, I can switch back in my, my, um, I can't think of his name, Arcanine, he's right there. I can switch back in my Arcanine later on, and that'll allow me to go for some defensive plays, like switching it in on, you know, physical attackers, like this Rhyperior who just decided to Swords Dance, okay. <laughs> he's, he's carrying a pretty, ra a pretty wacky Rhyperior set, to be honest. There's a Phantom Force, we're gonna do, like, two. Hey, we have three. We did, like, three. Okay, so I definitely think he's going to go for a hypnosis into my Rotom here. He could. Uh, this is a tough play. His gravity's still up. Oh, he's got one more turn of gravity. Protect. We always protect. Yeah, double protect makes more sense. At the very least, it makes it harder for him to land a hypnosis. This is a long game. I might only have two battles for this session. There's the rock slide. Oh, that would have hurt. Hypnosis. Alright. Gravity's gone. Wow, I am scared of that rock slide. We for sure have to Phantom Force here. We for sure have to go for this Leaf Storm. I'm not dealing with that Rhyperior anymore. It's scary. I don't want to switch in my Arcanine on a rock slide because I get so much more out of a Rhyperior in the in the Torkoal endgame. And he misses. Okay, that's amazing. And he lands. Okay, that's horrible. It's horrible. This guy's the most accurate hypnosis user I've ever seen. Alright, Dragapult's fast asleep. At the very least, we can possibly go for a turn one wake up. 
by clicking protect here. Twitch your dimensions return to normal. Not bad, not bad. Um, geez, I, dude, I'm tempted to thunder wave this thing. Well, not that thing. I'm not gonna thunder wave that thing. That'd be awful. That'd be a horrible play. Here, I feel like I have to go for the Phantom Force. There's a chance we'll wake up. I can switch in my Arcanine. Oh, I can't switch out. I can't switch out. Oh no, check this out. This is my play. Thunder Wave, <laughs> Thunder Wave the Torque will hope we get lucky. <laughs> that's my only out, please. Alright, that's whatever. Give me my wake up. Okay, it's no longer whatever. I'm scared. I'm afraid. Huh. I'm go for the protect here. I am scared of an eruption. I think we lose. Thank you, Dragapult, for waking up. Well, we no longer have the Pokemon lead, so we can't stall out time. Going for another Hypnosis. Sending the Arcanine. I need, a, like, a double Protect, and I also need to one-shot... I also need to one-shot this, uh, Gothitelle. Three whole turns of Trick Room. Okay. I'm not even going to go for the double protect. I'm going to try to knock out that thing. It's the eruption. I'm probably going to lose my dragon pull here. Oh, he lives. Hello? Critical hit on Arcanine's a bit annoying, but he lives. Can you not? Can you not for once, please? Like, like, dude. Like, dude. Gravity isn't even up, dude. Can I have my berry? Okay, I can't have my berry. <laughs> I can't have my berry. I'm not allowed to have that berry. Dragon Ball actually took that much better than I expected. So maybe it's not charcoal on that uh, Torkoal. We go for the Protect here. Possible wake up. I'm going to go for Protect. Or do I have to go on the offensive? I kind of have to go on the offensive. Dragapult woke up. Turn one, wake up, finally. I need this eruption to not knock me out. I need it to, like, just barely, barely do enough. Give me my berry. No berry. Okay, well, unfortunate. Looks like we lost this game. Jeez, they landed so many hypnosis. Is hypnosis' accuracy 60 or 50? I feel like it's 60. This game's making me feel like it's 60. Oh well. That's fine. We'll give up. We'll give up. Woe is me. Woe is me. I spent 19 minutes losing. Alright, let's try to let's try to bounce back. Like, we can't just lose that hard in Master Ball tier, you know? Continue battling. Ow, okay. That hurt my ranking a lot. Zukumo, okay. Let's see what this is. This might be the last battle of the uh, video because we're already 20 minutes in, it looks like. Alright, um... This team does not like Rotom Mo. It, it seriously does not like Rotom Mo. So here's what I'm gonna lead off with. I'm gonna lead off Rotom Mo Arcanine because it's like, hello, why not? Um, it covers just about every lead he can go for. I kind of want to bring Galissapod. Galissapod would allow me to get some decent damage off versus the Grim Snarl. Uh, I could do some pretty hefty damage versus the Mudsdale and the Arcanine. 
However, I definitely feel like I get more mileage out of Dragapult here. And... Togekiss. Yeah, there isn't much of a role for, for Excadrill here. Like, look at all these Excadrill checks. He can superpower me with that Duran. He can uh, KO me with Arcanine, with Gastrodon, with Gyarados, with Mudsdale. Like, this guy does not like Excadrill at all. All right. So that's actually not a bad lead. That's not really a bad lead. I can Will-O-Wisp into this Mudsdale immediately. And hard switch out into... I'd say if he's going to go for a Flare Blitz, I can I can go out into my... Um... Ooh, okay, yeah. Own Tempo. Keep that in mind. It can be flinched. However, we have no flinch users, so... <laughs> go for the Will-O-Wisp immediately. Uh, I'll hard switch out into my Dragapult here because I resist any Fire-type attacks. Um, I could go into Togekiss, however, I feel like I don't gain that much from that play. I could redirect moves away from my uh, from my Arcanine, but granted if I land this Will-O-Wisp, I'm not really too concerned about Mudsdale in the first place. There's the Dynamax. Safeguard Arcanine. Alright, well, I knew that was a set. I didn't think it'd be on this team, unfortunately. <laughs> There's the Max Rock Fall. I'm going to take a hefty amount of damage. Might live it. I might live it. Not living it. Not living it at all. So, what can I do here? Um, I'd say my best play is to double into this Arcanine right now with a Thunderbolt. No, no, that's an awful play. I'd say Thunderbolt into Max Phantasm, but hmm. Arcanine's likely faster than my Rotom because it has that safeguard and it went before my Arcanine, so I definitely have to go into my Togekiss here. And I really want to open, I want to open a hole for my Rotom Mo, because Rotom Mo, when it goes in, it goes in, like look at this team. I really want to drop defenses. I'm going to go for the Air Slash. Er, air sl yeah, Air Slash makes more sense. Max Phantasm. Eh, Warm Wind. Warm Wind makes more sense. Lower the attack stats of both these Pokemon. <coughs> My throat may feel better, but I am still a little sick. So the Max Phantasm will allow me to... Er, Wormwind. Max Wormwind will drop their attack stats, um, allowing Tokus to take what I assume is going to be a Max Steel Spike. And really, the whole goal here is removing, <laughs> removing this Arcanine, because Arcanine is the biggest issue standing in the way of my Rotom Bow. Especially now that we see it's Safeguard and it went before my Arcanine, it has a heavy amount of speed investment. There's the Wormwind. Dropping these attack stats, probably doing a hefty amount. Oh my god, we're just going to KO it. Was that a crit? That feels like a crit. No, it's just got like no bulk whatsoever. Purely an offensive Arcanine, it looks like. Here's my Air Slash. I'm going to raise its defense, which is a little bit annoying. Oh, I forgot. No, it's not. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Uh, it's not stamina. It's own tempo. So that means I can lower its defense. We're good, guys. We're good. We're not in the worst position. He Dynamaxed his Mudsdale, which means that I can start going for these Max Quakes and just be fine. Or Max, max Worm Wins. I can never get the word right. Do I Dazzling Gleam or do I Follow Me? I'd say my play is definitely Follow Me, Max Phantasm. And the reason I'm targeting this thing is because it is a big issue for my boy Dragapult now. And yeah. Yeah, as soon as you put up a as soon as you see like own tempo, 
um, you can pretty much assume that a Grimmsnarl is going to want to swagger up. This is going to drop his defense a bit. And if I'm lucky, if I'm lucky, I can possibly KO him in like two turns. Max Steel Spike is going to do a chunk. And the sand should get me my berry if I'm not already in range, but it looks like I am. There's that defense raise. It's a little annoying. Not quite in range. Alright, and he did Dynamax before me, so he is pretty vulnerable to uh, Max Wormwind right now. And the reason I'm going to go for the Max Wormwind instead of the Max Phantasm is because I am much more concerned uh, about Tohokus surviving this next turn than I am about my uh, uh, than I am about knocking out the the Mudsdale. Can you not get confused and hit yourself? Okay, okay, okay. You hit yourself. You hit yourself. There's a light screen. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. It's just going to heavy slam me to death. doing a chunk. Are you berry? Or are you a salt vest? We'll find out right now. Could be lum as well. Well, no, if you have safeguard, you're not lum. Heavy slam. Is that minus two attack? Nah, okay. Not living. So now Rotom Mo, you're kind of carrying the game on your back, bud. I don't want to go for the immediate, um, I don't want to go for the immediate Thunderbolt, or for the immediate Leaf Storm, uh, because that would make me pretty weak to our boy Gyarados in the back, which I assume is out there. So I'm going to go for Thunderbolt. I might get a, no, I can't get a Paralysis because they have Safeguard up. And I'm going to Phantom Force into this Mudsdale, because what that'll do is it keeps me safe from the Grimmsnarl for an extra turn. And I'm also able to get an attack off. And who is maybe Thunderbolt into Leaf Storm will be enough to KO. I don't know. Oh, we're just gonna crit him. We're just gonna crit him. That's fine. That's fine, dude. Rock slide. It's gonna do a bit. And by a bit, I mean like a bit. He's at minus two attack. And he didn't get swaggered, which is really, really nice for us. He also drops the next turn, and I think I might just win. It depends what's in the back. I'd like to assume it's either Gastrodon or, um, it's, it's either going to be Gastrodon or Gyarados. But the critical hit tells me that this would have been a two-hit KO anyway, so I think I'm fine. I think I won this game regardless. There's the Swagger. It's, okay. Okay, I see how it is. We're just playing this game now. That tells me that there's a Gyarados in the back. There is most definitely a Gyarados in the back if you're trying to confuse a Rotom. He's getting desperate, boys. Come on. Really, Rotom? You're really going to do this to me? Alright, so I have a pretty unfortunate play here. I believe if I want to win this game, I have to protect my Dragapult and avoid a confusion. And Thunderbolt into this thing. And then also hope it's not Choice Band Ice Fang. Because if it's Choice Band Ice Fang, I've already lost. So just break through once, Rotom. Just once. Just once. That's all I need. That's all I need, man. Just once. One Thunderbolt. We're good. We're good. You should swagger here. Yep. What if he doubled into my Rotom and just maybe take more from that? Thank you, Rotom. Thank you. Alright, we should win. Especially since, you know, we're faster than every Gyarados. We're, we're good. We're good. There's Bounce. Okay. Uh, I can protect on the Bounce. And I'm good. Yeah. We're 
protect. <laughs> we can Phantom Force here. <laughs> well, Phantom Force, like, yeah, no, I'm not getting hit by that either. I'm about to head out. Dragapult heads out. I should make I should make that the uh, the name of the video. Dragapult heads out. Dink. <laughs> Dragapult's just like, nah, I'm not staying for this. So yeah, the combination of Thunderbolt and the Phantom Force should KO. Um, he's just going to protect. Okay, well, Phantom Force is going to break that, bud. Phantom Force breaks that protect. So no, you're taking this Thunderbolt. You're drinking it. Drinking it like it's a Sunny D. Have your vitamin C. The C stands for Rotom Cut. Okay. Well, after what I have to say is one of the most frustrating uh, sessions, we have hit the 30-minute mark. I believe I'm going to end the video there because I have a little bit more to take care of tonight. I'm going to be live streaming as soon as this video goes up. Uh, and, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, you should have a like, subscribe for Pokemon content. I'm sorry that I got a little bit salty about that first game. All of the, all the hypnosis... Uh, all the hypnosis that that person was landing made me a little bit salty, but I try to stay more positive. So right at the end, I kind of realized, like, oh, you're, you're being a little bit negative, Marcos. Let's, let's pick ourselves up a bit. But yeah, uh, that's going to be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate everything. Tomorrow, we're going to have another team analysis. Not team analysis. Tomorrow, we're going to have another Pokemon analysis. Uh, that one's going to be a surprise. I don't want to announce what it is quite yet. But yeah. With that, I'm going to call it. Have a nice night. I'll see you guys in the next video. Links to everything in the description. Twitch, Twitter, Discord, everything is down there. Have a nice night. Bye.